morning, guys. It's Nakal for Eye Android. And, and today we are checking out the new Micromax Canvas Music. This is going to be a quick and short review, telling you how the device is and whether or not this is a good option for you. So the Micromax Canvas Music is a device aimed for music lovers. They come. Uh, the device comes with uh, these headphones, the JBL headphones. These headphones itself cost about 2,500 rupees in the market. You can get them for about 2,000 rupees. Uh, the price with the headphones is about 8500 rupees, uh, so you can understand that the bundle itself is about 8500 rupees of value. Now, uh, the Micromax Canvas Music isn't out of the box device, it is a pretty normal Android device from Micromax. Uh, it has most of the features that you saw in the Canvas 2. So, uh, you do have that dual core processor on this, you have a 1 GHz dual core processor. Uh, you don't have a lot of uh, great specifications. It is just a basic Android device. So it lets you do all the things that you can with Android devices. Uh, if you go into here, you can easily see that this is that Micromax processor, the 6577, and uh, no real graphics. You have the 531 power VR GPU, and you have 512 MB of RAM. For storage, you have eight gigabyte, but you get about six gigabyte free. Uh, from uh, the usage of uh, the device and the usage on the apps. So six gigabyte free plus you can add in a micro SD card up to 32 gigabyte to give you all that music experience. An included FM radio makes the device uh, really nice. Uh, so for those people who like to listen to FM on the go, just put on your headphones and listen to music. Uh, that way it's fantastic. We already showed you the gaming review of the device, pretty good in terms of gaming. It was able to play most of the games properly. Uh, we didn't take a look at a lot of games, but it does do gaming with the games that it did. Pretty alright, I mean the experience was pretty fluid, so we are happy with the way uh, this device handles games. Uh, what Micromax has also done is included a service called uh, Micromax Music. Uh, which is going to come with this device. It's al almost like Nokia Music, but it's a free Micromax uh, music streaming device. So you can go in and listen to songs and download songs, etc. So if I want, I can go here and download uh, this music. It starts downloading in the background, and uh, once it is downloaded, I can simply play it. So it is a service that Micromax gives. And again, in the music player, you don't have any special features. You're not going to get surround sound or anything. So despite the fact that this is called Micromax Music, there are no special features. You don't have Dolby Digital or special audio engine from Yamaha. Nothing special with the device. It's just an Android device that comes with headphones that makes it a music-oriented device. The browser is fairly responsive. It's not the best browser that we've seen. Uh, but it is fairly responsive. You can get Google Chrome to get a slightly faster Android experience. Uh, this browser is based on the stock browser on Android 4.1, which is also pretty good, but I feel that Chrome works on this device a lot faster and a lot better. In terms of phone quality, the phone is really solid uh, and uh, networks are good. Earpiece is loud enough and so is the microphone, so is the speakerphone. While on the phone, if you're using the headphones, uh, you'll have to put the phone close to your mouth because the microphone will continue to be used from the handset itself because there is no microphone on the headphones which is going to be a big disappointment for people who would like to do hands-free calling. You do have an included headset or a hands-free kit inside the box which you will not be too proud of honestly. You'll really not like to use that hands-free kit after you've used these headphones because that is a really pathetic hands-free kit. So if you're going to be using the Micromax Canvas A88, you can load up 32 gigabyte worth of music plus about 8 gigabyte extra. You can load up a bunch of games and you can be on your move uh, doing things uh, with your device, listening to music, playing games, etc. Battery life again will last you a good a day's usage. Uh, playing music on this device, you're able to listen to music for about eight to nine hours constantly, which is good, good enough for a device like this. Uh, phone calls again, three to four hours of non-stop talk time on this device uh, with about five hours on 2G, uh, which is also pretty decent for this device. Video playback is also pretty good. You can uh, watch movies, uh, the included earphones or the headphones actually. The included headphones make watching movies uh, really a fun experience because uh, you can uh, watch uh, videos and listen to the great audio over on the headphones. Like I said, there is no special audio engine that will improve the quality of the audio, so you're just stuck with stock audio coming out of the headphone jack and coming into the headphones, and that's the best. You do get really deep bass with the headphones, so they enhance the sound quality, but that's about it. Viewing angles on the screen could have been a lot better. You, when I'm playing a video, if I lay it down flat, 
you'll be able to see that it darkens from uh, a little bit from the sides and if I just start to tilt it a little bit, uh, you'll see that we lose the color of the screen. So viewing angles on the screen could have been better. Video playback, however, is really smooth. So. You can see that video playback is smooth and so is the speakerphone, it's fairly loud and uh, you won't have any problems in terms of watching videos if you're looking at it from right in front. But if you're tilting the screen and if somebody's on your side wanting to share or watch videos together, you might be uncomfortable or the person on the side might be uncomfortable with the quality of the video. We already have benchmarks up, so for in terms of performance, if you want to look at those benchmarks, you can check out the benchmarks video. If we did a gaming video, you can check out the gaming video. In terms of music, in terms of the headphones, uh, the headphones are really comfortable to wear over a long, prolonged period of time. This foam is really soft, does not hurt the ear at all and uh, this foam on top also is really comfortable to use. The headphones do have this hardened uh, wire connect protector on the side, uh, which will uh, sort of prevent the wire from breaking, uh, but we feel that uh, if a, s a slight strong tug on this wire might actually break this. So you might want to be careful of that. The quality of the headphones itself is really nice. Uh, you have a really flexible plastic band uh, that uh, should be long lasting and the headphones look great, they sound beautiful. If you want to go into the market and want to buy an Android device and your budget is under 10,000 rupees and you feel that uh, the headphones will give you a great add-on option, I don't see any problem with this device. It's nice, it's portable. Uh, it is slightly thick um, for its respect but it is nice and portable. Uh, you have a very ordinary camera on the back, you're not going to be doing a lot of photography with this device. So uh, that's our quick review of the new Micromax Canvas A88. If you have any questions or queries, try and leave those on the comment section on the full review page on iGAN. We'll try and cover it up for you guys. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and uh, check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV for iGAN Networks. This is me, Bharat Thank you guys for watching.